Friends in Christ, it is the time that we celebrate the great hope of our lives, Jesus Christ as the center of our lives, our world, truly all of God's creation as we celebrate his birth. So the greeting for all of us is that wonderful celebration from heaven on Christmas Eve. Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth. And so we know with the Lord's birth, we are welcoming God's full plan of salvation into our lives. We celebrate that as, as church, uh, as families of faith, and again, believing that the light has shined in the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it. We know there are many shadows in our world and there's much suffering. People at this time could be grieving intensely over loss or anxiety or fear. So we don't say Merry Christmas lightly. We say it from our heart, from our minds, from our faith that again, the Lord is with us and in him we can have peace, we can have joy, we can have hope for our world. Christmas is a blessed time. It truly is more than one mass or one experience. It goes for oh, a good bunch of days. And so we hope that during this time that the grace of God can touch our lives and truly lift us up to see that God's providence is at work in our world. And so with the prologue of St. John, we say that the, again, the Word became flesh, full of grace and truth, and has made his dwelling among us. And out of that conviction, out of that great hope, I extend to you a very Merry Christmas, and encourage you to take the time, as did our Blessed Mother, to treasure these things in your hearts. Gazing upon the Christ child, upon the Lord himself, how can you move forward into the new year with a sense of greater confidence, greater hope for yourselves and for your families and for our world? God bless you.